Some people say I lead a simple life. I don't have a lot of possessions except for my instruments, my songs, and my memories. My life might be simple, but it's incredibly rich because of music. My name is Abel Rocha, and I'm a musician. I came to the United States from Mexico over 25 years ago to perform, to sing. I love the songs and stories, lyrics of the worker or the farm worker, the traditional lifestyle in Latin America. Life is both joy and struggle, and the music and words that I sing are about that life. We perform uh, music from Argentina, Venezuela, Mexico to sometimes Peru. Since the very beginning, uh, I never wanted to say that from Latin America because it's a really broad spectrum. Uh, but in general, in some ways we do. In English, we use the term popular music. And when we say pop music, we think of sugar-coated candy kind of melodies. But musica popular, it, the same idea, the same words, but in Spanish, means something completely different. It means music of the people. The music to whatever life may be, whether it's working in a mechanic shop in a city in South America, or if it's working um, in an agricultural region, this is the music that creates the soundtrack to life in Latino America. He has this warm, deep, soulful mid-range, and then this cry, this cry on top of it. How his voice falls into falsetto for certain kinds of music, I had never heard that before. And it, it, just, it just cut right through me. Seattle doesn't even know that it has this cultural treasure in Abel Rocha, in someone that has the ability to, at the same time, conjure music that is at once earthy and scholarly, that um, is literally someone who's a caretaker of the folkloric traditions of Mexico, way beyond mariachi, to every corner of the, na of the nation, um, but also someone who breathes new life into each song that he touches. This one is very interesting because it probably is an imaginary dialogue that the composer uh, conceived in his mind about that tension that exists between the landlord and the tenant. I think one same song can express the pain, the struggle, the lamento, but at the same time, sometimes they express, um, some songs express the relief of that by doing it. Songs are dreams too. Songs are desires not not met in life. And I think everybody has to express some some sort of uh, uh, vehicle to express their anger, their pain, their uh, frustrations. Sometimes, you know. And I think mine is singing. <laughs> They say that uh, crying is healthy. I don't cry much, <laughs> but I sing a lot. When I'm working with Abel, I am 
connected in a, in a very deep way to centuries of tradition, to centuries of experience across the Americas. Pero la verdad paisana me gusta el aire de